Hello everyone, thank you for attending Diodes Incorporated's product training module entitled Two-Wire Automotive Hall Effect Sensors Introduction. This is an agenda of the talking points of this module. It starts with a brief review of the major types of Hall Effect Sensors and offers a snapshot of where Hall Effect Sensors can be used in vehicles. Next, it introduces the Two-Wire Hall Effect Sensor, what it is and why it is typically used in automotive applications. It also briefly touches upon the ISO 26262 functional safety standard. Finally, it finishes up with a demonstration video of one of Diodes' automotive compliant Hall Effect sensors in a seatbelt application. There are several main types of Hall Effect sensors falling into two main output types, digital and linear. Digital output Hall Effect sensors use either a push-pull or open drain output stage configuration. They can be further categorized into latch, unipolar, and omnipolar type devices. Unipolar and omnipolar Hall Effect sensors are also referred to as Hall Effect switches. For typical digital Hall Effect sensors, their outputs are set to logic low when they turn on and logic high when they turn off. The defined magnetic flux density threshold to turn on the device corresponds to its BOP, or magnetic operating point. The defined magnetic flux density threshold to turn off the device corresponds to its BRP, or magnetic release point. The BOP and BRP of a device are separated by hysteresis, called B-hiss, to prevent false triggering due to noise. For linear Hall effect sensors, their outputs are voltages that are linearly proportional to the detected magnetic flux density. As of this product training module's publication, Diodes Incorporated has latch, unipolar, and omnipolar type Hall effect sensors suited for automotive applications denoted by the Q suffix in the part name. There is a wide array of automotive applications for Hall effect sensors. This slide depicts a car showcasing a fraction of the myriad use cases of Hall effect sensors. Latch Hall effect sensors are used in brushless DC motors. For instance, power seats, windshield wipers, trunk opening and closing mechanisms, etc. Both unipolar and omnipolar Hall effect sensors are used for proximity detection. For instance, detecting if the sun visor or car door is open or closed. In most cases, an omnipolar Hall effect sensor can be used in place of a unipolar sensor, where strict attention to magnet polarity is not required in the assembly process. Standard Hall effect sensors come with three required terminals. A supply terminal, VDD, an output terminal, OUT, and ground. The output type for this device is usually a voltage. A two-wire Hall effect sensor gets its name from the fact that it only needs the VDD and ground pins to operate. The third terminal is usually a no-connect, or NC pin. This type of device outputs a supply current, since it does not have a dedicated output pin. The magnitude of the supply current, IDD, indicates whether the BOP or BRP thresholds have been reached. For instance, a two-wire device could be configured such that, if its BOP threshold is reached, IDD increases to a preset ON level of current of 4.5 milliamps, called ION. Then, if its BRP threshold is reached, IDD decreases to a preset off level of current of either 6 milliamps or 3 milliamps, depending on device configuration, called I off. The supply current, in conjunction with a series sense resistor, R sense, creates a sense voltage, V sense, that an electronic control unit can use to act in accordance with its programming. There are two sensing configurations for two wire Hall effect sensors high side sensing and low side sensing. In high side sensing, the sense resistor is placed between the positive terminal of the power supply, shown as V supply, and the VDD pin of the sensor. In low side sensing, the sense resistor is placed between the ground pin of the sensor and the system ground. Which configuration to use depends on the customer design application. There are two possible magnetic output behaviors for a two wire Hall effect latch South pole active and North pole active. The active pole of the device is determined by the polarity of the magnetic flux density that reaches the device BOP threshold. Once the BOP threshold is reached, the IDD supply current increases to the preset I on level. The IDD supply current decreases to the preset I off level once the magnetic flux density of the opposite magnetic pole reaches the BRP threshold. For example, a two-wire latch that has the south pole as its active pole will increase its IDD to I on when the positive magnetic flux density reaches its BOP threshold. 
IDD decreases to I off when the negative magnetic flux density from a North Pole reaches its BRP threshold. As of this publication, Diodes Incorporated does not offer North Pole active two wire Hall effect latches. The concept of active poles applies to two wire unipolar switches as well, except this time, Different output polarity configurations are possible to give rise to four combinations of unipolar switch magnetic behavior. These combinations are South Pole active with direct output polarity, North Pole active with direct output polarity, South Pole active with inverted output polarity, and North Pole active with inverted output polarity. The unipolar switches with direct output polarity operate such that when the detected magnetic flux density reaches its BOP threshold, the IDD current increases to the preset I on level. When the detected magnetic flux density reaches its BRP threshold, the IDD current decreases to the preset I off level. A unipolar switch with inverted output polarity behaves in the opposite way. When the detected magnetic flux density reaches its BOP, the IDD current decreases to the preset I off level instead. When the detected magnetic flux density reaches its BRP, the IDD current increases to the preset I on level instead. Which combination of active pole and output polarity configuration to use depends on the customer design application. As of this publication, Diodes Incorporated does not offer North Pole active two wire unipolar Hall effect switches. For many general applications, the traditional three wire Hall effect sensor using voltage outputs provides the simplest way of detecting changes in magnetic flux density. However, in many automotive applications, the actual point of magnetic detection is far away from the main system control center, such as an electronic control unit. Using a traditional three-wire Hall effect sensor with voltage outputs in such an application gives rise to two major concerns. One, the overall weight added to the vehicle in association with the cabling required to route VDD, ground, and the output. Two, the potential issue of supply or ground rail noise contributing to the output signal degradation over long distances. These concerns are addressed with the use of a two-wire Hall effect sensor instead. Since it does not have a dedicated output pin, and effectively only has VDD and ground pins since the NC pin does not require a connection, the two-wire Hall effect sensor reduces the required wire count by one. This addresses concern number one. The output signal of a two-wire Hall effect sensor is a current rather than a voltage. A current signal is much less susceptible to noise pickup, allowing it to travel longer distances. The current signal, generated from the detection side, can then be transformed to a voltage through the sense resistor placed near the electronic control unit on the main system side. This addresses concern number two. Therefore, two-wire Hall effect sensors are often the preferred choice for automotive applications where the sense point is far away from the control center. In a simplified explanation, Functional safety is the approach to make automotive electronics safe. The ISO 26262 is a guideline published by the International Organization for Standardization for electrical and electronic systems installed in production road vehicles. The goal of this standard is to reduce the risk of injury to drivers, passengers, and pedestrians caused by faults in the vehicle electronics and software. The electronics system must be able to respond in a predictable manner to the many different possible failure states. Diodes' AH324XQ is a family of two-wire, automotive-compliant, unipolar Hall effect switches. The AH328XQ is a family of two-wire, automotive-compliant, Hall effect latches. These two families of parts have been designed with ISO 26262 guidelines and methodologies in mind, such that they can be used in systems requiring functional safety. These devices have integrated self-diagnostic functions, offering automatic background monitoring of all its major functional blocks. If an error is detected, the device enters a safe mode and decreases the IDD supply current to a low level of 1 milliamp to let the control system know an error has occurred. As of the publication of this training module, these devices have not been officially ISO 26262 certified. However, since these Hall effect sensors were designed following ISO 26262 guidelines, Diodes Incorporated considers these parts to be ISO 26262 ready as a safety element out of context, or SEOOC. This is a quick video showcasing Diodes' AH32XXQ demo board in a seatbelt application. This particular demo uses the AH3243Q, an automotive compliant, two wire unipolar Hall effect switch. The main components used for this demonstration are 
a seatbelt tongue, a seatbelt buckle with the AH3243Q inside, a demo board, and a 12 volt DC power adapter. The main components of the demo board itself are labeled here. An MCU board detects the AH32XXQ output current to determine if the seatbelt is fastened or not, and relays the status information to the OLED display. The fastened seatbelt lights will flash and the buzzer will beep until the seatbelt tongue is inserted into the seatbelt buckle. Setting up the demo board. Connect the black wire to the V-out test pin and the yellow wire to the 12 volt test pin. These two wires are connected to the AH32XXQ inside the seatbelt buckle. Make sure that the power adapter's output is 12 volt DC. Plug in the 12 volt DC power adapter. The power on sequence. Turn the power on. The OLED display shows the AH32XXQ product description and cycles through a couple additional screens. The first screen after displaying the product description shows the selected output polarity of the AH32XXQ version used. As a reminder, this demonstration uses the AH3243Q, which has a direct output polarity, so the output polarity is set to direct on the demo board. The second screen shows the selected AH32XXQ location. In case there is no seatbelt buckle to use, the AH32XXQ can be soldered directly onto the demo board itself. With the use of a magnet, the two-wire unipolar Halifax switch on the board can still be used to mimic the behavior of detecting a seatbelt buckle being fastened and unfastened. Detection Insert the seatbelt tongue into the seatbelt buckle. When the seatbelt tongue is inserted, the OLED display will show an icon indicating the seatbelt has been fastened and displays the text, Seats Belt Fastened. It also displays the detected output voltage corresponding to the IDD supply current at the I-ON level. The fastened seatbelt indicator stops flashing and remains off. Removing the seatbelt tongue. When the seatbelt tongue is not inserted, the OLED display will show an animated icon and corresponding reminder text, Fasten Seatbelt. It also displays the detected output voltage corresponding to the IDD supply current at the I-OFF level. The Fasten Seatbelt indicator starts flashing. If the buzzer is unmuted, it starts beeping. The Mute button. When mute is enabled and the seatbelt is not fastened, the mute button LED light turns on. The OLED display shows a mute icon and the buzzer stops beeping. When mute is disabled and the seatbelt is not fastened, the mute button LED light turns off. The OLED display shows a sound icon and the buzzer starts beeping. Inside the seatbelt buckle. Inside the seatbelt buckle is the AH3243Q and corresponding magnet. When the magnet is far away from the AH3243Q, the demo board detects that the seatbelt is not fastened. When the magnet is close to the sensor, the demo board detects that the seatbelt is fastened. The insertion of the seatbelt tongue into the buckle pushes the magnet close enough to the AH3243Q to detect. Here shows the seatbelt tongue insertion and the corresponding fastened seatbelt detection. Here is a brief summary review of this module. It reviewed the types of Halifax sensors and provided examples of their use in automotive applications. It introduced the concept of the two-wire Halifax sensor, its operation in response to detected magnetic flux densities, as well as why it's typically preferred over three-wire Halifax sensors in the automotive space. It also touched upon the functional safety standard, ISO 26262, with the AH324XQ and AH328XQ family of parts being ISO 26262 ready. Lastly, a demonstration video of Diodes' AH3243Q two-wire unipolar Halifax switch in a seatbelt application was shown. Diodes Incorporated kindly thanks you for viewing its product training module entitled Two-Wire Automotive Halifax Sensors Introduction.